The video begins with the system as it would look near absolute zero, with no motion in the lattice nuclei. The entire animation takes place in super slow motion. The camera rotates around a single Brillouin zone as four molecules of two hydrogen atoms, or H2, fly to the lattice, disassociate to atomic hydrogen, and dissolve into the lattice. Hydrogen nuclei tend to spend only about one nanosecond in any one place within the lattice, and then tunnel to an adjacent octahedral or tetrahedral trapping site within the lattice. Here we see how the lattice elements build to larger pieces of material with the dissolved hydrogen moving within the lattice, but still at very low temperatures. The increasing motion of the lattice elements provides an indication of how the lattice elements actually behave above absolute zero. The speed and amplitude of the motion depends on the temperature of the system. The two Q waves shown in this scene cause compression of the lattice in front of the wave. Here we have blocked out a single Brillouin zone of the lattice to highlight how a Q-wave compresses an individual lattice element. As the Q-wave compresses the lattice, the energy of the dissolved hydrogen raises. Like a ball trapped between a hard surface and an advancing paddle that further limits the motion, the flash is only to draw your attention to the action of the scene as the highly confined nuclei absorbs an electron and converts 0.8 MeV of energy from the system into the mass difference between a proton plus an electron and the mass of a neutron. This step is highly endothermic as the system converts energy to mass. The lattice relaxes as the electron capture event removes two units of charge from the lattice. As the wave finishes moving through the lattice element, you see a proton tunnel into the location where the neutron was just formed. The lattice recoils as the binding energy is transferred to it. As the next Q pulse passes through the lattice, two more neutrons are formed. A deuteron tunnels into the location of the neutron on the right-hand side, and the lattice recoils as the binding energy from the formation of tritium is transferred to the lattice. The triton then picks up the neutron on the left side of the screen to form quatrium. This third neutron becomes what is called a halo neutron. The quatrium tunnels to the top of the highlighted field, the first Brillouin zone, where it undergoes a beta decay. The beta decay introduces a second positive charge in the trapping point and releases a tremendous amount of energy to the lattice. The alpha particle leaves the zone, transferring energy as it moves away.